this from there. You should have enough signal in that location to access it. Look for anything related to O R Y G. All right. Looks like I'm within range. You couldn't have picked a better location, like a coffee shop or a. All right, all right. I've accessed it. All right, the files are transferring. Wait, something's wrong. They ping my location. I've been compromised. I've got to go. Not before the file's clear. You stay right there. Ugh, not much time. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. I'm done. I've got to go. What's the first thing you hear people complain about in the online forums about black magic? No, not that. I'm talking about internal stabilization inside the black magic camera itself. And while it doesn't necessarily have that built into it to stabilize the footage while you're filming, it does something else hidden in an obscure feature that you may have not considered the implications of before. I'm talking about, of course, the horizon meter on the black magic cameras. And are you not sure what that is? Well, let's get out our handy black magic manuals and turn to page 43. Which says, the horizon meter indicates when your camera is rolled left or right and tilted up or down. This can help you keep the horizon level during handheld shots and balance the camera tilt on a gimbal. The direction the light gray vertical line moves away from the dark gray crosshair in the middle indicates the direction your camera has rolled. And here are some of the indicators they give you to let you know how to match your shot to the horizon. Lastly, it says for information on how to calibrate the horizon meter, see the motion sensor calibration section. Wait a second, did you know that the pocket cinema cameras had a motion sensor built into them that you could calibrate? Turn to page 87. To calibrate the horizon meter, place your camera on a surface you know is level and tap the calibrate motion sensor button. It is essential that you keep the camera stable during calibration. The process takes approximately about five seconds to complete. So this is incredibly interesting, but you might be asking yourself, what does this have to do with internal stabilization? And that's a great question. What this is doing is essentially capturing gyroscopic data that can be used to stabilize your footage more effectively in post, almost making it look gimbal-like in some circumstances. Sony is already offering this within their Catalyst software, which is able to read gyro accelerometer data from the camera and embeds that into metadata that Sony's Catalyst software can then use to stabilize the footage with incredible accuracy and awesome results. GoPro also has something similar to this with Real Steady, which was used to stabilize other older GoPros in After Effects based on the internal gyro data. So this is not something that's particularly new, and a lot of companies like Sony are already using this in their own software, coming from their own cameras to help to stabilize footage based on gyroscopic data. And what might that be? And for those of you who don't really know what gyroscopic data is, it can measure and maintain the orientation of angular velocity of an object. In this case, capturing the movement of the camera's vibrations, rotations, and relative movement of the camera. And that's honestly a really glossed over view of how that gyro sensor data actually works. So if you wanna learn more about it, check out this link below in the description. In English, please. It's the same thing like Warp Stabilizer does on Adobe Premiere essentially what it does, but with better data from the camera, almost look what your phone can capture with the steady shoot. It, it captures the gyroscopic data. The gyroscopic technology will keep you upright at all times. And this leads us to the question, does Blackmagic even have the ability to turn on this? in a future updates. So I decided to email Blackmagic's technical support to see if this was a feature that they could potentially add in in the future. And I got this reply back. Thank you for contacting Blackmagic Support and bringing this to our attention. We can add this as a future request for our cameras. If you are in need of further assistance, let us know. Thank you for your time. They got back to me on this email within a couple hours 
of me sending it, which indicates to me initially that I am not the first person to ask about this question. And the deeper I looked into the black magic forums, I came across several places where people had the same idea I had and were pushing for others to ask black magic to add it in. And you had some in those group that also put down that idea, citing problems with gyroscopic data with gyroscopic stabilization, and we'll get to that later on. So in this email, Blackmagic confirmed that recording gyroscopic data from the horizon line could be done and added in as a simple update. That, I mean, that's great. We have the potential to stabilize Blackmagic footage with internal data that's being recorded, but not kept anywhere that we know of in the metadata of the video files themselves. But if we capture the data, how, how do we go about stabilizing the footage? Well, this comes down to maybe a dual purpose update for the Blackmagic cameras and DaVinci Resolve. With Resolve already having powerful stabilization features, using gyro data to assist with that might be an interesting step forward in keeping everything in house and adding it as a premier seamless feature in Resolve itself. But in the meantime, if we do get meaningful access to this data, but it's not available in Resolve, you could potentially use software like SteadyXP that already has some solutions for actually stabilizing Blackmagic footage based on the lenses, which you can see an example here of what it looks like stabilized. But its software does allow some gyroscopic data to be used to stabilize footage, and there are other software solutions out there that could be used to stabilize Blackmagic footage. This is fairly exciting, the potential to be able to stabilize your Blackmagic footage without a gimbal based solely on gyroscopic data coming from the camera itself that's just waiting to be unlocked or added to the sidecar elements of the Blackmagic B-RAW files itself. But there has to be a catch, right? Well, that was a slight malfunction of the gyroscopic calculator. And that's why you should check out this video that talks about some of the pros and cons of using gyroscopic data to stabilize your footage. I'll see you guys soon.